okay all right guys so here we are in the pix 4 d interface now if you are a new user by the time you actually open your app you are going to come in contact with this um, particular screen where you need to log in or sign up for free so for existing users they need to log in with their username and password and for new user you have to click or tap on the sign up for free button for you to create an account so after signing up for free then you need to log in so when you log in you should come to this interface so for new user or the best way to start by creating a mission or a flight plan is by going to the project list so i will tap on the project list when you go to the project list at the top right hand corner of the screen the next screen you should see this plus sign you click on that plus sign to create a project so the next thing you should do is to give the project a suitable name of your choice I'm going to give this one test flight. Okay. So you click on OK. Okay. There's a folder with the same name. Then let me say test flight 2. Okay. Let's try that again. Or let's just give it test projects. Okay. So you click on OK. So you can see your interface have been up updated to show your new project that you already created so for you now to create a mission inside that project you need to click on that particular project you just created so you click on test project so now in this new interface we are ready to create our mission that's the drone flight so again you come to this angle at the right hand side of your screen that you have a plus sign to create your mission so i'm going to go to that plus sign to create a mission so i'm going to click on that now so after clicking the plus sign it should be brought to this interface so it depends on the kind of drone flight you want to carry so for this training we are going to use the polygon mission for 2d maps so we select 2d maps so here this is actually the interface that you are going to do your drone flight planning and settings and the likes so here the map is actually showing me my current location so it's creating a particular um, drone brown boundary around my current location so in this interface here where you have gsd gsd means ground sampling distance is actually showing you um or it actually impacts on the accuracy or resolution of your drone imagery so the higher this number the higher or the lower the resolution of your drone imagery your photos why the lower the ground sample distance then the higher the resolution of your images so at the bottom of the ground sample distance tab you have the um, window that you can actually increase and decrease the altitude for which you want your drone to fly so you can see as i'm scrolling the values are going up and down so for this particular um, training i will be using an altitude of 60 meters for our drone flight so let me switch this to 60 so you can see 60 meters and um, the next thing we want to do and i need to mention you can always change the um, base map so from map to satellite image so for you to do that you can come to where you have the satellite image at the top um, at the bottom left of the screen so you click on it you can see you must have an internet to do this you can see it has switched to um, satellite um, view base map so you can use your two fingers to zoom in and zoom out so one thing we need to do now we want to create a boundary around our area of interest so you can use this um, cross sign at the center of the boundary to move the um, area of interest to where you want to actually um, fly a drone over. So here, I'll be leaving this as default. We want to try and fly a drone over company, over um, area of interest where we are staying presently. So again, I need to mention that um, while planning your flights, you should take note of this particular window that show you that is saying that's 4 by 52 meters. That is actually telling you the 
area in terms of size that you want to cover presently and the number of um, time it's going to take for the drone to do a survey around that area. So presently, with this particular area that I want to cover, you can see the drone is going to go for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So by the time I increase the size of our area of interest, you can see that the time also will increase. So you can see it has increased to 3 minutes and 0 seconds, and you can see the area. So that way you can know how long your drone is going to fly and the size of the area you are covering. So when you are drone creating a boundary around your area of interest, you can actually use the settings icon at the top right hand side of the screen to do some other flight plan settings. So here you can set the speed of the drone, the angle at which you want the drone to fly the camera, then the overlap for your images and the face. So by default, the speed is in fast, so you can, I will leave that as default. Then the angle of the camera, of course, I want to take a, an area image, so I'm going to leave that as vertical. You can, it depends on the kind of drone survey you want to carry, so you can leave it at horizontal or vertical. So for this training, I'm going to leave it at um, vertical. So overlap, so does this is going to define both your front and side overlap for image or images to be captured. So I'm going to leave this at um, 85%. Okay, I think by default you have 70, 80, and 90. So I'm going to leave this at 80%. So face is actually showing the, um, the um, mission, the drone, where you want your drone to start taking your um, flight from. So I can leave it as, by default you have forward, and you can leave it as center. But it is advised to put your face in the forward um, option. So I'll leave it as forward. So when you are done setting your flights for planning and the likes, so you make sure you click on save. So I use this use the saving button. So after clicking on save, you can see you have you can see the area of your interest. You can see mission one. So you have the option to open your mission. You can delete that mission. I can always go to info to take more information about that particular mission. So you can see the drone that we are using, Phantom 4 Pro, the dates, the time, the type, the location, the dimensions, and the likes. So for we to start the drone survey profile, I will open the mission, then I will go to start. Now you can see from the dialog box, it's telling me we need to connect to drone. So yeah, it is telling you that the drone should be what switched on. You need to have connected to the drone using another app called Control DJI. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my drone on. So while I switch my drone on, so from here, if you are able to use your Control DJI to connect your drone, to be able to confirm that the drone has actually connected, then you should have option to launch the flight. You should have option to launch the flight. So I've turned on the drone. I've turned on the drone. So now I'm going to use the um, control DJI to connect to my drone. I want to use the control DJI to connect to my drone. I need you to give me a moment. I'll be back. So um, I've actually turned on my drone and connected my controller to my mobile device and we can confirm that the drone is connected. So you, when you've confirmed that the drone is connected, you click on Nest. So after clicking on Nest, you have to wait for your app to um, do the checklist. So you can see if all the checklists have been marked green, so you are good to go, that you can take off. So you can see the um, instruction. So I'm going to hold this green button down and my drone will fly. So you can see, see my drone is going. So guys, that's how you plan your flights and take off. So one thing I think is very very important I also mentioned is that you can also import a boundary in KML format into Pix4D. 
So in, in the situation that you have a bound you already defined, you can always bring that into Pix4D for the, as a KML file. So here, yeah, I've actually created a new project. So when you click on that project that you created, you go to the um, top hand side of the screen where you have these um, three vertical um, buttons or icons. So when you click on it, you are going to see the option that said load KML. So when you click on load KML, now it's going to take you to the folder on your phone, so on your device. So you just need to navigate to that particular folder where you have your KML file. So here, I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have my file. And this is it at the bottom of the folder, Gravitas 3 of the KML. So I'm going to click on it. So by default, it's going to bring it to that area of interest. So you can see in red colored um, boundary. So that's our area of interest that we actually imported in um, Pix4D. So from here, you can go ahead and create a mission around that area. So you can see Pix4D did a good job by creating a boundary around the area of interest that was just imported into um, the app. So from there, you can do other settings, your speed, your angle. You can uh, define the height or the altitude at which you want your drone to go. And then you save, you connect your drone, and you fly. So that's it, guys.